Hello everybody and welcome back with a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about the brand new babe called Margarita. So we have officially got the 20 tokens. So let's unlock this. Fars and where I got the tokens from doing, I think it was Oakvale or was it Gov War, something like that. So Fars and where I think this was a free babe instead of the of, instead of them costing a hundred dollars. Um yeah, I think I got it through Oakvale. So I don't think I actually paid anything for it. So that's very good. We like when we don't have to pay because the game likes you to pay a lot. So first things first, guys. Because we've got a new babe now, we've also unlocked an extra free slot for collectibles, which is nice to include, you know, to increase your statistics. But obviously you need to have enough collectibles to go in there. Right now I don't even have uh, enough to fill the slots. So Grand Mafia really needs to kind of get on top of that. Give us more things to be able to put in. It'll also help us contend against T5. But then again, T5 will also have the slots too, you know. But it's also trying to make it worth the money because if you're going to be spending a hundred dollars at least on, you know, uh, just unlocking the babe, is you know, is it really? It's, it's got to be worth it, you know. If you haven't actually got the collectibles to fill the slot, why are we spending money to kind of unlock it? You know, if, if you look at it from that point of view. So these are the outfits they have. Blazing Rose, Twilight Haze, and Enchanted Flower. There's always one. Almost two one. Right, so skill. The skill is rapid treatment. So it used to heal 1.2% of the T1s to T4s associates in the hospital. Minimum of 5,000 and maximum of 100,000. Right, so... For the upgrade effects, the heal ratio is 1.2% to 1.5%. And the cooldown time is four days. Okay, so for level one, the heal ratio is 1.2% and the cooldown time is four days. Okay, but if you're upgrade to level two, it goes to 1.5% heal ratio and the cooldown time of 3.8 days. And as you can see, if you go all the way up to level 10, you get it every two days and 10% heal ratio, which is nice, which is cool. Is this going to be very useful and beneficial for our gameplay? Honest opinion? No, not really. I think... Realistically... Realistically, it's... It's not the best thing in the world, you know? And because of the amount what it will heal... It's not really, it doesn't seem really too much worth it. You know, if it's 100k T4s, right, it might be saving us a bit of speed ups, a bit of resources, but it's not the end of the world if you have to do it yourself, you know? So I'm not too best pleased with the wards, but let's see what first ever, you know, we get, general rewards we get from doing the three dates a day. Five minute healing, 15 minute wall, 20%, so nothing good, but. That's got nothing to do with the actual babe itself. Obviously, we've now got to level her up. The talents, the talents are a, a, like a main thing you kind of want to look at uh, to see if, if it's worth it. So you're getting some healing boosts here. Uh, healing speed plus 30%, hospital capacity. To be fair to you, the healing speed is great. And the hospital capacity is also a fantastic one, to be fair to you. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with them. I think they're good. Uh, especially the fact we didn't have to pay for it. I think if if we didn't pay for it, that is that is spot on. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That that could be very useful for us when we are healing and you know to save troops in the long run. Um, crew HP up to five percent, not bad. And glory of oak veil crew attack fifteen percent. So that can come in very very handy. So just by that, it does reassure the fact of we did probably get this from glory of oak veil. Um, Overall, I say it's not too bad of a, do you know, one of the new babes brought out. I think maybe they might be trying to find out like something good, what they can give us, but I don't know. I, I never really find an issue, right, personally with my hospital being filled. But if this gave you a percentage of your sanitarium in the game, Comment down below, guys, if you actually agree with this, right? And that they should do this. 
if they gave you the option to remove a certain amount from your sanitarium, I'm sure a lot of people would be more, a lot more happy with that because you have to wait with troops in your sanitarium all the time and it takes time. You've got to do it bit by bit. But if you have the opportunity to get some of them out every couple of days, that is what I class as a babe I'd want to spend money on. You know, that, that could be very beneficial, you know? But then again, it also depends, you know, um, if you ran out of resources, you ran out of speed ups, uh, and all, the only option you have is to use that babe, I guess, why not? Overall, I'd say if I was going to give her a ranking out of 10, I'd probably give her, I'd probably give her a six. And the reason why I'd give her a six is just because of the healing speed and the hospital capacity, because obviously 50 more K saved troops you know, from dying is nice because it does take a while to train up 50k, especially if it's T4s or T5s. And then 30% healing speed helps as well. Less speed ups you're gonna have to use. It'd be nice if it made uh if there was an option there for the healing cost to be cheaper, just you know, for like resources and stuff like that. That would be a nice added bonus there. But you know, maybe in the future we might see that. And then the special talents are pretty cool. Crew HP is always nice, and then I like the fact that they've added a battlefield attack there for 15% crew attack. Not 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 the best thing in the world, but I like it. I think it, you know, it'll help encourage people to feel more confident when they are in uh in the battle in Glory of Oakvale, you know, give people a little bit more of, of confidence. But it's gonna take a bit of time to get there. And the only way to do these ones is by using special talent points if i'm not mistaken and it's going to be expensive you know and you've got to unlock the babe favor to level four and level five which will take a good bit of time guys so keep that in mind especially the fact that there's another babe which i do need to make a video on as well um but i'm not sure if that one costs us either because it has been a while but i probably will do a video on that one as well but this is margarita there is a little bit of text about her here um which i will show you guys now i'm not going to read it out because I don't think it's going to be much beneficial, but if you want to read it, click pause now. And then pause again. And then again. There you go. And obviously, you unlock more information from her when you reach level three. So maybe in the future, maybe I could do a, you know, a little catch up with it. But yeah, it's one of them. But one thing I will say, if anybody's watching this and wants to know, are babes worth spending time on gold and, you know, trying to rank them up and level up? They definitely are. They really, really are. Um, because even if you're a free player, you can still get up all of the normal talents. Also, just noticing, like, the new babes have less normal talents, which is quite disappointing, really, because all the free ones have a lot more. So why pay and get less? doesn't make sense that I, I would like to see a normal talent really but overall babes are very very valuable really well to be fair one of the one of the main valuable points in the game really you know for a sneaky place to get statistics from especially with the special talents that's a great way people are getting points now and then collectibles that's another fantastic way to get extra attributes and points but other than that I think she's a, maybe a 5 or 6 out of 10. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye. Beautiful.